let's look at this set. Two persons, Anand and Magnus, were playing a certain number of games of chess. Each game of chess can end as a draw or a win. So, three outcomes. Either an Anand win or a Magnus win or a draw. In the first three games that they played, the first ended as a draw. The second was won by Anand, while the third was won by Magnus. So, all three outcomes have happened at least once, is what is being told to us. They decided to stop playing as soon as any of the following conditions were satisfied. The number of games won by one player is more than twice the number of games won by the other player. So, let's say Anand wins was A, draws were B, and Magnus wins were C. So, when can the batches end? When A is greater than 2C or when C is greater than 2A in either of these cases. Understand, both these conditions cannot simultaneously be true. In either of these cases, matches will stop. The other case mentioned to us is, the number of games drawn is more than thrice the minimum number of games won by any player. So, as soon as B becomes greater than 3A, or B becomes greater than 3C, in any of these four conditions, as soon as one of these four conditions is satisfied, the matches will be stopped. The matches will be stopped. Okay. This is the global information given to us. Let us get to individual workings. If they stopped playing after exactly 30 games. So, we know A plus B plus C is equal to 30. What is the maximum possible number of games that could have ended as a draw? Now, if I'm looking for to maximize the number of possible games ending as a draw, the best way to do that would be draws or match should end in one of these two ways, where draws have become thrice the number of wins of any of these participants. Okay. So now, one wonderful thing, hopefully you can see. If, let's say, Anand was the one losing, Anand was had the minimum number of wins. So can I say your draw count will turn to 3A plus 1? Your draw count will turn, as soon as the draw count turns to 3A plus 1, that is when the matches will stop. That is when the matches will stop. And when this happens, I have to ensure that C is less than equal to 2A. When this is happening, I have to ensure C is less than equal to 2A. Our matches would stop when Anand is, I'm I'm making Anand the, the weaker player here, but okay. As soon as the number of draws become 3A plus 1, the matches would stop. And while this is happening, we have to ensure that C does not exceed 2A. With that in mind, this A plus B plus C will turn to 4A plus 1 plus C is equal to 30 or 4a plus c is equal to 29. Let us try and identify solution sets here because we also know all of these are going to be at least 1. So if c is 1, a can be 7. c is 1. Achha, not only do we have to do that, we also have to... c, okay. c is less than 2a and c is greater than a. This also we have to ensure because or greater than equal to A because if we are saying the matches end when the number of draws have become 3A plus 1, we are saying Anand has lesser number of wins. So A, uh, the number of wins by Magnus have to be greater than equal to number of wins by Anand but have to be less than twice the wins of Anand. Otherwise, mm, the matches would not end when draws have become 3A plus 1. So this is the first case. Can you see this is unacceptable for us? This is outright unacceptable for us for the simple reason that uh, C is lower than C is lower than A. Next case will be C is 5 and A will turn to 6. And this is also unacceptable for us because C was supposed to be greater than or equal to A. Next possible case is C is 9 and A is 5. Can you see this is an acceptable case? 
This is an acceptable case. If Magnus wins nine matches, Anand wins five matches, 14 matches are done, and number of draws have become 16. This is when the tournament can stop. This is an acceptable case. The next acceptable case would be when C is 13 and A is 4. And this is an unacceptable case because right now, number of wins of Magnus have become more than double the wins of Anand. Which is to say, the only acceptable case that works for us, the only acceptable case that works for us is when Anand has 5 wins, Magnus has 9 wins, and number of draws have become 16. So to answer the question, what is the maximum possible number of games that could have ended in a draw? The answer will be 16. Okay. Let us work forward. Next work. If after they stopped playing, it was observed that Anand had won exactly 18 games. What is the maximum number of games they could have played? Okay. Anand has 18 wins. Now, number of draws, maximum number of draws that I can possibly have without the match uh, tournament ending is 54. And maximum number of wins that Magnus can have without tournament ending is 36. This is the max case. Now, when if the next match I, is either a draw or is either a Magnus win, in either case, the playing will stop. So, total number of matches that have happened so far is 108 plus 1. Whether it is a draw or a Magnus win doesn't matter. As soon as we have 109 matches done, maximum number of matches possible will be 109. This is done. Second question is taken care of now. Okay, next one. If after they stopped playing, it was observed that the last 28 games that they played had all ended as draws. Okay. Last 28 games they played had all ended as draws. What is the minimum number of games they could have played? I want to minimize the number of games and I know the last 28 matches ended in a draw. If the last 28 matches ended in a draw, one of these two outcomes happened. The number of draws became greater than thrice the number of number of draws became uh, greater than thrice the number of uh, wins for some person. So let's say Anand was having lower number of wins. So, so if Anand had A wins, if Anand had A wins. So, the number of draws so far will be 3a plus 1. The number of draws so far will be 3a plus 1. And this 3a plus 1 was achieved by whatever number of draws had happened earlier plus the last final 28 draws. 3a plus 1 was achieved by 20, uh, whatever number of draws had happened earlier plus the final 28 draws that consecutively happened. Now, the number of wins for Magnus, if I want minimum number of matches to have taken place, if I want minimum number of matches to have taken place, and A is not winning, A is not the leader, can I have Magnus number of wins lower than A? Can I have C lower than A? No, then we will not even get an opportunity to reach 3A plus 1 because C is lower than A. 3A plus 1 is significantly more than 3 times of C. What if C was equal to A? C was equal to A? Yes, this can happen. This can happen because in this case, as soon as 3A plus 1 is achieved, either of these cases are taken care of. Either of these, as in either of these people's uh, number of wins can be exceeded by the number of draws. Three times the number of wins can be exceeded by number of draws. This is fine. And then what do we have? Uh, uh, what what else can we have? This is it. This is it. If, if I have more number of wins for Magnus, then I'm not minimizing the total number of matches. I'm maximizing the total number of matches. So the ideal state for us is Anand's and Magnus's number of wins at this time to be identical and draws to be one more than three times their draws. Okay. Now, fun thing. Notice equation is not really needed here can you see 
In this case, the matches will end when your total number of draws have become a 3a plus 1 kind of number. Your total number of matches are stopping. Your total number of matches are stopping when your total number of draws have become a 3a plus 1 kind of number. 3a plus 1 kind of number. And that number has to be greater than or equal to 28. 3a plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 28. That 3a plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 28 because it is equal to n plus 28, 28 plus whatever number of drawn matches had taken place earlier. So the best possible case here would be a has to be greater than or equal to 9. A has to be greater than or equal to 9. Or, but the final case that we would end up with is Anand having 9 wins, Magnus having 9 wins, and total number of draws being 28. Is this an acceptable scenario? On the face of it, seems perfectly all right. Yes, 9 wins for Anand, 9 wins for Magnus, and one more than uh, number of draws being one more than thrice the number of wins for either party. But the problem here is, notice this. In the first three games that they played, the first ended as a draw, the second was won by Anand, and the third was won by Banks. So when I'm saying 28, last 28 consecutive games that they played have all ended as draws, the total number of draws cannot be 28. The total number of draws cannot be 28, which is to say, right now, when we have this 3a plus 1 is greater than or equal to 28, it is wrong. It has to be greater than or equal to 29. The first draw takes place, then two matches have taken place, and then after some time, 28 draws have taken place. So at least the total number of draws that I have at the end of the tournament has to be at least 29. If 3a plus 1 has to be 29, can I say a has to be greater than or equal to 9.33? Or the smallest possible value that A can take is 10. Number of wins for Magnus will be 10. And number of draws would be 31. And how many matches have taken place so far in the tournament? 51. 10 plus 10 plus 31. This is the tricky part here. Given that the first match was a draw, and, the subs and later on we had 28 matches consecutively as a draw, we need at least 29 draws in the tournament. And in order to minimize the number of matches, and in order to minimize the number of matches, or the tournament to end with 28 consecutive draws, we would need total number of draws to be 3a plus 1 type of number. And 3a plus 1 type of number after 29 is 31. You can make your processing, or you can do your processing there onwards as well. Okay. Getting rid of all these storylines again. We're back to our original state, A, B, C. Okay. We also can get rid of this. This was only true for question one. Last question. If after they stopped the play, it was observed that the last 16 games were all won by Magnus, what is the minimum number of games they could have played? Okay. If last 16 matches were all won by Magnus, if last 16 matches were all won by Magnus, can I say this is the reason, this is the reason that we have stopped playing. This is the reason that we have stopped playing. Okay. Now, because uh, if Magnus has won last 16 matches, can I say he has managed to reach 2A plus 1, whatever number of matches it, he had won earlier. Let's say whatever number of matches he had won earlier, C plus 16 is equal to 2a plus 1 twice of that. Whatever number of matches uh, he had won earlier, 2a plus 1. And if we are looking to minimize, if we are looking to minimize the number of matches he had won beyond earlier than this, okay, also pay attention. If I can represent it more appropriately. See, what would have happened? At one point, 
A Anand has managed to win A matches. B draws have taken place, and Magnus right now has not lost but has won minimum number of matches. Those minimum number of matches would be A by two. And after this, he goes on a streak of winning sixteen matches. After this, he goes on a streak of winning sixteen matches, and he ends up at, and he ends up at. This leads him to two A plus one. Only in this case, the total number of matches that have taken place will be minimized. So this will give us a by two plus sixteen is equal to two a plus one, or a is equal to ten. Fifteen, one point five. Yes, a is equal to ten. So ten matches Anand has won so far. Twenty-one matches Magnus has won so far. And the interesting bit. Remember, the first match had ended in a draw, so you cannot have it lower than one. So ten plus one plus twenty-one minimum number of matches that could have been played will be thirty-two. Then Magnus has won the last sixteen consecutive matches. The wonderful thing about this set is, while it appears to be simple, there are lots of small, little, tiny bits of cases that you have to check. For and for every sub part, the logic building is immense. It's a wonderful, wonderful set. Hopefully, you learned something. Mm -hmm.